In this video, we're going to take a look at how you write the equations of lines through two points. There are some things that go with this. The biggest key idea is if you're going to try to find an equation for a line in the form y equals mx plus b going through two points, where you're given two random data points or two points on a coordinate grid, there's three things you have to know. If you don't know these three things, you really can't do this. One, you need to know the, the equation of a line in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. m stands for the slope. B stands for the y-intercept, and so then we need to calculate the slope. We need to find that. We also need to find the y-intercept. So the slope formula, M stands for slope, is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And what that means is if I'm given points like 3, 8, and 11, 20, then these are just court ordered pairs in disguise. This is an x and this is a y. This is an x and this is a y, because that's how we do ordered pairs. Well, if this is our first ordered pair, I call these x1 and y1, and this one x2 and y2. So I do y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. I plug those into the equation. I get the slope. Then as soon as I get the slope, that number goes here. Then I need to plug in one of these as a working point. This is the third key idea. You need to know this equation, this to be able to solve for the slope, and you need to understand that x and y is a working point, and you plug this in for x, you plug this in for y, and so you'd know the slope right there. You'd know an x and a y right there. You'd have all these numbers here, and all you have to do is figure out the b value. So if you take a look at the front of the worksheet, it walks you through the first example. The first example is what if you have 3, 4, and 5, 8? If that's the case, you notice you're going to do 8 minus 4 and 5 minus 3. And then you're going to get 4 over 2, which is 2. That's that y sub 2 minus y sub 1 stuff. And remember, y's up. Y's up, young man. Y's up. And so the y's go on top and then the x's are on the bottom. Plug it into the slope equation of y equals mx plus b, so the 2 goes right there for the m, and that's what you're plugging in. That's why you solved for this 2, because then it goes right there where the slope is. Plug in x and y, given the point. Okay, so now I'm going to go back up here. Oh, there's a point that works 3, 4, so I plug that for x and this for y. Anytime you have an ordered pair of points, it's in the form of x, y. So you go down here, you plug in this for x and this for y. 2 times 3 is 6, subtract the 6 is what it's showing right here and then solve for b, and you end up with b being negative 2, and you rewrite the whole equation, it looks just like this, y equals 2x minus 2. Now, what I would like you to do is do the same process with this first one. Here is your first point, your second point. You can do the slope calculations and all that, and then I'll go ahead and put up the answer. So here is the one that you're working on. Come up with the equation for that line. Go ahead and pause the video, take a second to work it out, and then come back and unpause it, and you'll see the solution. Welcome back. You do the slope formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, and it doesn't matter, you know, this way I ended up with 1 take away 7, 0 take away 2, and I have negative 6 over negative 2, which yields 3 as a slope. When I plug 3 into the equation right here for the slope for the m, then I plug in a working point. Remember, my working point, one of my working points right here is 0, 1, I picked it because 0 is an easy number to plug in. So I plug in 0 for x, plug in 1 for y. 3 times 0 is 0. That means b equals 1. And my whole equation is y equals 3x plus 1. So hopefully you're able to get that correct, and now you can go ahead and move on and try a couple more questions on this worksheet. Good luck.